Welcome to Bud's TV. I've been invited to Meatstock, the biggest barbecue festival in Australia, to show just how good Bud's plant-based meat is. Psych! Plant-based meat is for suckers. Let's go find some real meat lovers. Lies! Absolutely shithouse. But you can tell it's plant-based, can't you? Whoa. That's good. Nah, you're just joking around. Hey, spot the vegan over here eating the plant-based stuff. That's good stuff, eh? Are you serious that's not me? What do you reckon? Pretty delicious. It's not nice. <laughs> oh, it's not shit. They think it's not shit! Everyone, why is everyone liking the plant-based meat stuff? It's not real meat! Imagine everything you once believed being a complete lie. Plant-based food is delicious. No, no, plant-based. No, get the meat, please, no. So the Australian plant-based company All G Foods is spinning off their vegan meat brand Love Buds to focus on precision fermentation dairy proteins. All G Foods is a portfolio company of agronomics. Agronomics owns 8% of the business and they're going to spin out their Love Buds brand to form the Aussie plant-based meat co. The other half of the company is going to be Fens. Veef. They're a, another plant-based meat company. As a result, All G Foods will own 49% of the merged company. Love Buds makes plant-based meat, the mince, burgers, sausages, chicken nuggets, and schnitzels, while Veef makes plant-based beef and chicken burgers and pieces, including bacon bits. Both companies have products in retail and food service locations, with the merger combining the footprint to 6,000 stores across Australia. The move will also combine production at Vive's Sunshine Coast manufacturing facility, helping the brands expand into Asia and the Middle East. So All G Foods had previously had these two businesses. Now they're doubling down on precision fermentation. They raised 25 million in a Series A round last year, and they're going to now focus solely on precision fermentation research and development. The company is initially looking to create animal-free, bioidentical lactoferrin. We saw another company, Denova Food Labs, based in South Africa, is also working on that. All G Foods has teamed up with Australia's food and beverage accelerator to speed up development, as well as create dairy products that consumers are looking for. Since inception, we have always had one foot in the deep tech segment of precision fermentation and the other in the consumer-facing plant-based meat business explained All G Foods founder and CEO, Jan Pakas. He's also chairman of the newly merged company. This transaction represents a pivotal strategic move to allow the two different businesses to concentrate exclusively on their respective and unique needs. So All G Foods is also planning to make precision fermentation casing proteins, which represent 80% of the total protein count found in dairy and are a large protein percentage of cheese. The company has previously earmarked plans to launch in Singapore by the end of 2024, while also looking at other Asia-Pacific markets, the Middle East and the US. Making some very similar moves to Perfect Day. Even more interesting to hear this news after hearing the comments from David Freeberg. I'm not sure that a startup with all of the challenges of being a startup and building all this tech and dealing with expensive people, et cetera, et cetera, not having the benefits of scale or the network of distribution is necessarily going to win. So I think that it may be the case that some of these technology players end up accruing much of the value of this transformation that's happening. And the ultimate end products get produced by and distributed by these big ingredients companies that are already in the market. And you know they, they're happy to cannibalize themselves if the product is real and they can make money doing it. Looks like All G Foods, just like Perfect Day, is focusing on being a tech player. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.